Hey there, welcome to the junk drawer. My name is Enzo, and today we're talking about the long awaited Ken Couture. Ken. <laughs> uh, so it took uh, Mattel about eight or nine days to send this to me uh, from the time that it shipped, which I know is not a long time, but for for Mattel, I feel like once they ship something, it typically arrives with definitely within the week, maybe even earlier. But for some reason, this got caught up with FedEx and they got handed off to USPS, which I guess is a normal thing. I, I don't know. It was weird. I, I was like waiting and waiting and waiting. And um, in the meantime, people have been posting videos about it. So I'm I'm a thousand percent positive that you've seen many reviews about this Ken Couture doll, but I kind of wanted to throw mine in the ring as well. So, and I, I've also heard a lot of negative stuff about this doll, some positive, uh, but I feel like overall, there has been some, uh, yeah, negative sentiment about this doll. But anyway, uh, here is the box. It's a bigger, it's it's a bigger box, I'm assuming because it's, um, you know, a bigger package. <laughs> Duh. But uh, yeah, I guess the biggest the question I want to answer in this video is: Is this doll worth a hundred dollars? So uh, hopefully we'll find out by the end of the video. So uh, another thing is uh, there is no mark. There are no markings on this box by Mattel, which I love. It came in this. This is this is the actual box it came in, and there's no like naming or anything. Like if, if you've watched any of my <laughs> previous Mattel videos, you know that that's a huge pet peeve of mine when they label the boxes of what's inside. And not not as like an embarrassment thing, but more of a uh, oh, I want that kind of thing for other other people. So anyway, uh, enough yapping. Let me get into the box, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll get into it. This is kind of interesting. I haven't seen Mattel do this before, where they put like a cardboard like outside cover on the box in addition to the tissue paper. So that's interesting. I've never seen that before. So here we go, I'm gonna slide it out. And then the tissue paper is kind of on there, kind of not, kind of, it's a little ripped, but we'll just take that off. And then, here he is. So here is the box. So it's got this uh, open window, obviously. It's kind of a, it's, it's kind of a plain, boring box for a hundred dollars honestly i that that was the one that was one of the things i noticed online when i saw uh stock photos was that the box is just like so boring because i was like do i want to open this i don't know if i want to open this maybe i want to keep this in box but i'm definitely taking this out of the box because the box to me is like not great it's a it's a, it's a solid cardboard box which i appreciate so it, it's got some some heft to it and then the sides there's nothing really on the sides the top is whatever bottom whatever and then on the back is a, an illustration of him and then a little blurb you can pause to read but yeah um it's nice it's it's nice packaging um yeah and then i think this is a yeah this is a magnetic closure so that's how it opens up and then if we open it up ta-da here's the doll hello let me get him out of the box this inner piece actually pulls out so that's nice, I guess, that you don't have to like destroy the box. Um, so yeah, let me get him untied. Uh, that way we can take a closer look. I am I am genuinely excited for this line. I really am excited that Mattel is kind of putting an effort into Ken dolls uh, with like fashion stuff specifically. And uh, I think it's, it's, it's nice that we're getting this like line of dolls. So I want to put it out there. I'm not like, even if I like poo-poo the doll, poo-poo the doll, I'm not, um, I am 
grateful that we are getting this. So before we look at the doll, uh, it does come with a doll stand. I do appreciate that the doll stand is blue to match the outfit. Thank you, Mattel. It also comes with a certificate of authenticity. And that's about it for accessories. So let me just show you the doll as is. So here he is. This is his front and his back. So yeah, first impression, there are some things that I'm like, hmm, okay. Uh, and this is stuff that I mentioned even before getting the doll, just by looking at the stock photos that I was like, okay. Uh, so we'll go through that. But I think overall, he is a cute doll. And uh, I think there are plenty of good things about him, uh, just like by looking at him. So. Yeah, anyway, let's just let's just get into it. So if we start at the top, uh, his head sculpt is a Tate head sculpt. And I'll do, a, I'll do a quick comparison at the end of the review with some other Tate dolls that I have. But yeah, he's doing the, he's got a little side eye going, uh, thick eyebrows. His hair is um, interesting. I don't, I don't hate it. I mean, I love that it's rooted, obviously. I think it might need some like restyling or something or like, I don't know, the cut, the cut is, is interesting. Uh, it's also kind of like the promo pictures. It's a little raggedy in the back. I do love the color of the hair also. It's a nice blonde color. So he's wearing these um, stud earrings. Uh, they're K's, they're supposed to be K's, but mine are not, <laughs> they're like on their sides. And I went to try to like, you know, s s move it so that it's standing up, but there's a little bit of resistance there and I do not want to snap this off. So I'm going to leave it as is for now. And maybe I can um, maybe heat up his head with a hairdryer or something and then move the, the thing. But yeah, they're supposed to be K's, which at first I was like, I don't know if I like that, but they're not, they're not bad. They're not awful. Um, I don't mind them so much. But, but yeah, his face sculpt, he, the Tate face sculpt is definitely, if not my favorite, definitely in my top two or three. Uh, he is super, super cute. If we move down to the clothing. So <clears throat> the first thing I noticed is that his tie, his tie and collar are like choking him. I feel like they're too thick, you know? They're too, it's too like, there's just too much fabric up here. You can't even put his collar down um, without it looking. It just looks too bunched up and too, there's just too much there. Everything, I mean, everything is like high quality. Like the, the quality of all the fabrics seems really nice. Um, it's just choosing the right ones <laughs> may have been an issue. So, but yeah, his, his, uh, he's wearing this like button up shirt and tie but the shirt isn't even a button up. The shirt is not a button up. It's literally Velcro in the front. So no buttons, nothing, uh, which, okay. I guess they're assuming that the tie is gonna cover that up, but that's okay. But then if we move to his coat, his like puffer jacket, uh, this is like great. This is awesome. And I'm still on the fence about the Ken pattern all over it. Uh, I feel like, and I mentioned this before, I feel like it, it, it makes it look a little play line, but you know, I also, I'm also not a fashion person, so I don't know, this might be fashionable. But yeah, this, this, this jacket, coat, whatever you want to call it, this is like, this is solid. This is a solid coat. And, it, and you can tell they put a lot of effort into it. The only thing about the coat, which I will say is I think the zipper pull is too big. It's, it's kind of giant in proportion to uh, the doll. So I wish they would have used a smaller zipper pull to make it more realistic, but I don't know how uh, feasible that would have been, but that's, that's my only thing with the jacket. Um, and then 
Underneath is a like a like a sport coat or something. I don't know what you would call this. It's like a like a something you would wear over over top a button up shirt, and it looks like it's it's long sleeve. So it goes it goes to the uh, under the the jacket there, which is which is challenging because when you have long sleeves under a long sleeve something else things tend to like bunch up and it's hard to get things in there so typically they'll like cut off the sleeves um with the intent of you not taking the the overcoat whatever the, whatever's over the shirt off but it looks like they these are both long sleeves so i don't plan on honestly taking I don't know. I even, I even decided whether I'm going to like disrobe him or not. I kind of don't want to because I am genuinely concerned about being able to get stuff back on, but we'll see. So the coat and pants are, have this pattern where it's like a, a light blue, like a bluish gray color with some shiny stripe striping, like a grid pattern on it. And the shiny is like shiny. It's like really shiny. So the pants are nice. Again, there is no, there's no like zipper or buckle or buttons or anything, which I'm not sure why as I, as I rub Ken's crotch here, but um, I'm not sure why they didn't include any of those like embellishments. So I think that's kind of strange. Uh, there are actual pockets though, which is, which is nice. These are actual functioning pockets on each side. Um, and then if we move down to the shoes. <clears throat> so these shoes are interesting. I am not a fan of these shoes. I think they're kind of ugly, honestly. Uh, again, it could be a fashion thing. I don't know. But these like spiky, spiky things on the, on the bottoms here. Um, I'm not, I don't, I don't know. No. no. <laughs> um, the top is nice. The top is like, a, it's like a loafer kind of situation. It's a, it's like a dress shoe. It's like a nice dark blue, uh, dress shoe. And I wish they would have just like chopped this bottom part off to just have the dress shoe parts. I think it would, it would have looked just fine. Um, yeah, I'm just not, I am not, not, not a fan and there's like some tread on the bottom. But also his pants are, uh, I don't know what that cut is, but they don't go all the way down. And obviously he's not wearing any socks. So <sighs> he is also on the model muse body. So there is basically no articulation besides the five points. So yeah, the other thing is he's got these sunglasses, which I am not a fan of. They are these chunky silver frames with blue insides. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I am not, I will not be displaying him with these. So luckily he is just holding them, but uh, yeah. Uh, he also has, it appears that he is protected with some plastic. It looks like they may have been uh, concerned about the blue maybe transferring onto his skin. So he might be covered. I'm not sure how much of him is covered. I'm feeling his pants. I don't feel any plastic here. So I'm not actually not sure why they would cover his hands or his arms and not his pants because it's the same material. Interesting. Hey, so post recording me, I finished recording and I was like, you know what? I really should undress him or at least take his, cause I was gonna like pose him for some photos or whatever and I wanted to take his coat off. So I ended up taking his coat off and yeah, it is like really, really nice. like really nice. So I don't know if most of the budget went to his coat <laughs> because uh, yeah, it's really nice. But, and then I took his overcoat or his, uh, his blazer, I guess, off. And I do love that there's a little tag inside that says Barbie. Um, yeah, again, really nice quality. And then, um, so this is what he looks like without his two layers. 
Uh, again, he has the mutal, uh, mutal, mutal maws. Uh, model muse potty. So he's in this like, kind of like cocked position where the elbow, this one elbow is bent. This is straight and there's no real articulation. But then I was like, okay, I wanted to get his, this plastic off. And I remember, remember I said, I, I was like, oh, it's probably because they didn't want the transfer of the blue onto the skin. But <laughs> there, this is only on his like hands and like part of his wrist. So, because I, I was like feeling for plastic and there's no plastic up here. There's no plastic on his chest, like nothing. So I'm like, why, why did they put plastic on his hands only? Uh, riddle me that. <laughs> That's so strange. So very strange. And then like taking it off has been kind of like a struggle. So I, I'm, I might need to like break out the scissors, but I was just like, well, I got that one off, but yeah, I was just like, why, why are his hands protected? Like what, what was, uh, why are his, are his hands in danger? <laughs> Is there something, uh, was there a, a monster in the, in the box? Okay, so this is what it looks like without his little hand gloves. Um, but you see like his, his necktie and his, it, it just, it looks so ridiculous. It looks ridiculous. Uh, and then to add to the ridiculousness, I will put his glasses on. Yeah, I don't know. I, d I do not like these. If you like them, great. I just, I personally am just like, eh, I don't know. There's something like, they, they definitely feel playline to me. So now I wanna do a quick comparison of the other Tate head sculpts that I have. So here are the other Tates that I have. It's kind of crazy how the same face sculpt can be painted differently and look completely different. Um, but these are all three, all three of these are using the same head sculpt. So we have the, the BMR in the middle and then the Buff Ken on the other end. These are, uh, they're basically brothers. Uh, these are the, uh, the triplets. I feel like there might be another one that uses the Tate head sculpt. I'm not sure. If, if I can find it, I'll, I'll, I'll pop a picture in here. So final, final thoughts. Um, I, overall, he's fine. I don't, he's not like my favorite, favorite Ken ever. I think they did a good job of elevating Ken uh, with this fashion line. Uh, again, I don't understand fashion, so this could be like amazing to someone who's into it. I do like that I have him in my collection. Um, the, the, the question, is he worth $100, is no. No, he's not worth $100. I would say if he was maybe like 75, um, I don't know. I don't, I think there are things about this doll that don't make it worth a hundred in my eyes, in my opinion, my, my humble opinion. I, these shoes are killing me. They are killing me. Um, between that and like the, and this is like, I don't know, this is like a quality thing. This, I mean, it's not, it's not like, like with the collar situation. This is not like a, they skimped out on quality and, and whatever. This is like, you know, it's it's quality stuff. It's just, again, it's like just choices. Like maybe make this thinner, maybe make the material thinner so it lays better. Um, I don't know, stuff like that, but I don't, and then the glasses are like, they're so, they're so hideous <laughs> to me. I do not like these glasses, but also he's he's a model muse. He's not even articulated or anything. So there's that, I guess. Um, yeah, still not, I don't think it's worth a hundred. I don't think it's like a $50 doll. I would say like 75. So if you could like knock off 25 bucks, I think it would be worth it. But as of, as of right now, I don't know that he's worth a hundred dollars. That's a lot for a doll. I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think this, Ken Couture is worth $100. Did you pick him up? 
Would you want to pick him up? I think he's, as of filming this video, he is still available on Mattel Creation. So I have a feeling he'll be available for, for a second uh, if you want to pick him up. So thank you as always for watching. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. And I hope you're having a lovely whenever you're watching this and I will catch you next time.